This two-minute masterpiece is presented by First Art Gallery to introduce you to the great works of art in a memorable, time-considerate way. Please take this moment to subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss a single episode. It's fair to say talented women artists have been ignored throughout history. That began to change with the great female artists of the 19th century. Foremost among this group was the Impressionist Mary Cassatt. Cassatt was born to a wealthy Pennsylvania family who, against her parents' wishes, decided to become an artist. At 15, she attended the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts but struggled in this male-dominated bastion. At the time, women in the arts were considered dilettantes, hobbyists. Furthermore, unlike their male counterparts, women weren't permitted to draw from the live model, but rather from plaster casts. In frustration, Cassatt moved to Paris in 1866, studying privately and augmenting her training by making copies of the great masters in the Louvre. Her body of work focuses on female subjects in all respects. Children are an important element in Cassatt's work and serve to reveal the nature of women through maternity. Cassatt also painted numerous portraits of children by themselves. But this painting, Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, is unique. Here a child sits alone in a room. A small dog keeps her company. Her surroundings and her dress tell us she's a child of the upper classes. Slouched in her chair, she displays an attitude of boredom and indifference. All the more poignant considering this large room of beautifully upholstered furniture was meant for hosting guests and lively entertainment. And here, the little girl sits alone. It's not an endearing portrayal like her other portraits of children, but it's deeper, more thought-provoking. One wonders if the child isn't a reflection of Cassatt's own sense of solitary independence. Though Cassatt never married nor had children of her own, she exhibits an uncanny insight into her subjects. Cassatt was a feminist in the best sense of the word. She wasn't an activist nor a militant. She simply wanted the same opportunities for success and to express her creativity. Whatever obstacles she met in the male art establishment, she saw them as challenges, not impediments. I'm Larry Withers, and this has been your Two Minute Masterpiece. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about First Art Gallery, click on the link below. To view other two-minute masterpiece videos, click on the playlist above.